What's the weirdest dinosaur you can think of? There are quite a few contenders, but one might think of the large, sail-backed Spinosaurus, or the one-fingered Mononychus. Well, today we'll be discussing the recently discovered dinosaur oddball, Concavenator. In 2010, a group of Spanish paleontologists led by José Luis Sanz discovered a truly unique specimen in the fossil site known as Las Hoyas, located in Spain. This new dinosaur species, named Concavenator corcovatus, was closely related to the African dinosaur Carcharodontosaurus, although much smaller at around 20 feet long as opposed to Carcharodontosaurus's top length of 44 feet. Concavenator's defining feature, however, wasn't its size. It was unique due to its strange physiological components, chief among which was a pair of overlong vertebrae located just before the hips. Scientists aren't exactly sure what these vertebrae were used for. They may have been able to support some sort of a crest like a spinosaurus, or perhaps a hump like that of a camel. In fact, the name Concavenator corcovatus means humpbacked hunter from Cuenza. If the spines were used to hold up a fin or hump of sorts, it may have been used for visual display, to show sexual maturity and to attract mates, or simply for species recognition. This would mean the hump could have been brightly colored and decorated with patterns. Another popular theory is that it could have been used for thermoregulation. The cold-blooded reptile could have pumped blood into this structure in order for it to get warmed up by the sun more easily, and then pumped the warm blood all throughout its body. These are the two mainstream theories, although there are others, like my theory that the fin was used as a billboard for Concavenator's bathroom remodeling company. It'd be very effective. But alas, we'll probably never know. Another interesting feature of Concavenator is the small series of structures resembling quill knobs in its ulna, that's a bone located in the forearm. Quill knobs are tiny structures used by birds and feathered dinosaurs to hold feathers in place. It has been theorized, however, that these are actually marks left by where the animal's muscles attach to its bones, but the general consensus is that these marks resemble quill knobs more than muscle marks. This would mean that Concavenator may have had at least some form of partial feather covering, or if not that, at least spiny feather-like quills, like those of a porcupine. These quills or feathers wouldn't have been used for combat or for flight, and they probably wouldn't have been for keeping the animal warm either. They were probably strictly used for display and, like the hump, could have been brightly colored or patterned. Overall, Concavenator was a very intriguing and distinctive dinosaur, and helps us to continue to piece together the puzzle of prehistory. If you liked this video, consider checking out my other videos, and subscribe for more information on prehistoric life, and like this video if you think I did a good job. Until next time, I'm Luke, and thanks for watching Paleontology Plus.